Does Rika deserve your love? Rika is so much more than a casual adventure game. It's a unique journey. By Amberstorm Entertainment, Rika was released into early access on the 12th of September. A game where Slavic folklore is brought to life in a beautiful atmospheric land. Rika is an engaging and immersive single player base building game with a mix of exploration, questing, base building, cooking, foraging and magic. You step into the magical shoes of Rika, a young woman witch in training, running errands for Baba Yaga herself, an enigmatic character in Slavic folklore. My name is Fizz and let's take a look at the five reasons why I feel Rika deserves your love. The first reason, exploration. Exploration in Rika is creative and innovative. You travel on a very large chicken to various different areas, getting off and exploring the surrounding land visiting the locals and helping them with their problems. As there are no quest icons or objectives, the game encourages you to explore the villages and talk to all the locals, as each one has a different story to tell or a quest to do. The dialogue isn't vocalised, but that doesn't take away from the charm of meeting the inhabitants. Once you have discovered a local needs your help, then the quest is marked on your map. This is nicely done, as there is an ability to highlight the quest marker on your compass and your map, thus improving its notability especially helpful if you have more quests to fulfill. While exploring, there are chests to find, though the world at present does feel a little empty, but as it's in early access, content can change. The villages are bustling with life, enhanced by the sound effects adding to the ambience, such as the bleating goats and the clucking chickens, and all the inhabitants have something different to say as they get on with their daily grind. Rika also implements quick travel, so exploring doesn't need to feel a chore as you can instantly be transported back to your chicken home and there is no cooldown, which is a nice touch. Second reason, base building. The base building is unique and ambitious. Rather than building on a plot of land, the game features construction on the back of a giant, yet very lovable chicken. I have to admit, I haven't got very far with the base building aspect, as I spent most of my time exploring. But there are so many decorations to find in chests scattered around the map, from local habitants after helping them, or from the trader, who seems to be not quite what he appears to be. As you progress, you expand your home, adding new crafting stations, furniture and decorations, making it into your own unique cottage with a hint of witchcraft. Beds are available, which help you sleep through the night if desired. It took me a while to master the construction controls and I initially struggled to see where to place items. However, with some practice, I did start to get the hang of it. Third reason, foraging. Foraging in Rika is a delight. Rather than the usual game mechanics of using your hands or tools, the game embraces its mystical elements by using crows. I love this use of mechanics. It made foraging fun and easy as you could quickly gather many ingredients together and you didn't have to keep changing tools. After foraging for ingredients, you could then cook them on the stove. I love the way this was done, discovering each recipe through experimenting with ingredients. And when the dishes were finished, they automatically went onto the shelves beside the stove. It is these small details in the game that I adored, making it truly unique. The fourth reason, visuals and sound effects. The visuals and sound effects and soundtrack were mesmerizing. There still some small visual glitches and bugs in the game, which isn't surprising for an early access game, and especially when the visuals are so advanced. But that doesn't take away from the detailed graphics of the animals and villages to the stunning visuals and colours of the sunsets and sunrises. The sound effects enhance the game's atmosphere, with different surfaces producing unique sounds as you walk. The captivating music further enriched the experience, contributing to the overall feel of the folklore tale with enchanting elements. Unfortunately, swimming isn't available at this time, which is a bit disappointing given the frequent walks through swamps, lakes and rivers. However, this didn't detract from the game's overall ambience. Fifth reason, why does this game deserve your love? Well, it's the overall package. The game is stunning and rich in folklore. Exploring feels like you're on your own unique adventure, discovering people, mystical creatures and treasures on the way. Rika is very unique with many of its own gameplay concepts, which in this review I have only scratched the surface. Thank you for watching, and please hit that button and subscribe to support the channel and to keep up to date with more gaming reviews. Oh, and if you like games like Animal Crossing on My Time at Sandrock, please visit my latest review about Critter Cove. Take care.